In challenging times like these, one of the best things that we business owners can do is to seek inspiration from the most successful among us. One such that I want to profile today is the hip-hop musician and famous husband, Jay-Z, aka Sean Carter. Leaving aside his music career, I must confess I'd rather stick needles in my eyes than listen to hip-hop, Jay-Z's business skills have made him a billionaire. What triggered me to look more deeply into his achievements was the announcement that he has sold a 50% stake in his champagne brand, Armand de Brignac, to top luxury goods giant, LVMH. He only acquired the US rights to the brand after being snubbed by the Cristal brand, with the snobby French producer declaring itself unwilling to be associated with something as vulgar as rap music. In reality, this is a sideshow to his other business interests, where he owns his own Rockefeller record label and the rights to all his music. He was way ahead of the streaming curve that's begun to offer untold riches to artists who are willing to surrender ownership, often for hundreds of millions of dollars. He followed Michael Jordan's lead by having his own line of sneakers with Reebok as long ago as 2003. His $2 million investment in Uber is now worth around $70 million, about the same as his private art collection. When you see someone achieve this level of success, you can do a lot worse than copy their thinking. So watch out for my imminent launch of the world's leading red wine brand, Beaufort Barolo. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some previous episodes, click here. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes.